in today's video, I'm going to talk about the top five quarterbacks to use in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting my channel, what I want to encourage you uh, to do is go ahead and join my channel Discord if and only if you are looking for tips and tricks on how to improve in Madden 21. Again, that's what we do here. Everything that we do brings it back to trying to set you up to win more games and have more fun in Madden. All right, let's jump into this. Right now, we are talking about our Madden 21 top five quarterbacks. And this is a really important conversation because, again, the quarterback is the most important player that I feel like is going to be on your offense, especially if you are running my competitor's guide, um, which you can pick up in the description if you haven't already picked it up. Again, it's a spread-based air raid offense uh, with over three or four hours on the spread alone. It's got over 40 pages in it now. It's a full ebook that is going to be work, working in Madden 20 as well as in Madden 21. But I want to talk a little bit about my quarterback. So first thing that you want to look at, first thing that you want to look for in Madden, whenever you're looking for a quarterback, is you want to find a quarterback that can do exactly what his job description is. So with my offense, I'm running spread, so I need my quarterback to do a lot of different things. I mean, the ball is going to be in his hands pretty much 90% of the game. I mean, I don't really run the ball a whole lot, and so I need to find a quarterback that's going to do a couple of things. Now, there's a couple of things that work. There's a couple of criteria for this. The first one is the release the second one is their X factors, and the third one is their raw abilities. Raw abilities anymore in Madden is actually not that important, at least in my opinion. Um, but the abilities of the player and the way that the player animates, the way that the player, um, some of the traits that he has and different things like that, those are actually going to be a little bit more important. So let's dive into this. Who are your top five uh, quarterbacks? Well, coming in at number five is Lamar, or I'm sorry, number five is Tom Brady. So on my list, number five quarterback in Madden 21 will be Tom Brady, and here's why. We've got the X Factors up right here, but the reason is if you go into the X Factors, what you're going to find is you're going to find that Tom Brady is still going to have that hot route master, um, hot route master ability that is so, so critical to being successful uh, as a quarterback. It's going to allow me as an offensive coordinator to be able to put whatever routes I want up there. It's going to add additional hot routes to every single position. The other thing that you have to think about when you're thinking about a quarterback is who are they attached to, right? Like what players are they attached to? Well, Tom Brady is attached to uh, Mike Evans, who has the, who, a couple wide receivers that are going to have really, really good abilities, and that's another boost, boost for him. But you'll see here, he has 90 throw power, so he hits that threshold. That's why Drew Brees, in my opinion, that's why I don't really like Drew Brees. You want to have a, above 90 throw power for an elite, elite quarterback. So he has that He has that 90 throw power. He also has, if I can find it here, you'll see uh, throw under pressure rating. See, he's got that 90, which is that threshold that we're looking for. And again, also with ratings, it's a game of thresholds, which we will talk about that uh, in the future when we do working, working, breaking down the ratings. But here's what you take a look at with Brady. You see here, he's got 91, or I'm sorry, 96 short throw accuracy. And he's also got 91 medium accuracy and 91 deep accuracy. What that basically means is wherever you need to put the ball, he's going to be able to put it there. And oh, by the way, he's got those abilities. The number two quarterback on my list here is going, or I'm sorry, the number four quarterback in my top five is going to be Lamar Jackson. And the reason Lamar Jackson comes in a little bit lower than some of you might have originally thought is because of the fact that his throwing, as you can see here, his accuracy statistics, they're not, he's going to miss some throws. He doesn't have over 90 deep. He doesn't have over 90 middle. And so he's going to miss some throws. Now, he does have 95 throw on the run. He does have the escape artist ability. But I don't believe that Lamar has the dashing dead eye ability. And so without that dashing dead eye ability, what that means is when you're rolling out and you're trying to throw the ball on the run, he's going to have a couple of overthrows. And again, with the top best quarterbacks, 
you want them to not have any overthrows. But the reason that Lamar makes it on this list, and I just want to be, you know, 100% with you, is from a running perspective, you see here, he has an 82 spin move. He has a 90 juke read, move rating, which is the threshold for quarterback jukes. He also has 96 speed. That's the fastest quarterback in the game. So you're going to be able to do a lot of different things with Lamar that you wouldn't be able to do with someone like, um, even with someone like Russell Wilson, because he has that 96 speed rating. And speed is just so, so important. So again, I'm going to say Lamar Jackson comes in at number four. That's mainly because I want to be able to pass the ball every single play. Now, if you're a running quarterback based offense, maybe you're running some of the Taysom Hill packages out of New Orleans or things like that then you're going to want to stick with Lamar because, again, it also depends on your scheme, right? And I'm talking about top five quarterbacks all around. All around quarterbacks are going to be able to run a little bit. They're going to be able to pass a little bit. They're going to be able to do a little bit of everything. Now, number three on my list, coming in number three on my list as far as top five quarterbacks for Madden 21 is Russell Wilson. Now, I know he's at 97 overall, but when you actually dig into his ratings, he's not the second best quarterback in the game. He does have some really nice abilities. As you can see, um, he has, let me see if I can jump down here on this on this little breakdown. But you'll see here, um, Russell Wilson has a couple of abilities that I want to talk about. But going back to Tom Brady for just one second, you see he has fearless. What that means is if they pressure you in the pocket, like if the defense is about to sack you, you are not going to be penalized for that for that deal you're going to be able to just deliver the ball that's another reason why but anyways um russell wilson has blitz radar which is a really good ability but he also has uh escape artist here which is really important for getting out of the pocket he has but he doesn't have dashing dead eye so to me he's a little bit better than lamar because he has a little bit better accuracy statistics but He's not, he's not on Lamar's level because what Lamar can do is he can throw the streaks into your streaks. Russell Wilson, though, is going to be able to have this ability right here, Agile Extender, which means that when he's in the pocket, they're going to evade that first sack attempt. And he also has Long Range Deadeye, which means he has perfect pack ac pass accuracy on all deep throws while his feet are set. Okay, so what I like about that is he's going to be able to get the ball deeper than Lamar Jackson's going to be able to do. He's, st he's still got some mobility. You see there that 90 plus throw power that we were talking about. But if you look at his accuracy statistics, he is going to deliver the ball at a much more accurate level. You see they're all above 90, 94, 94, 99, 96, 94, and 96. You see Lamar's are pretty much all in the 80s except for the short throw. So basically what I'm saying is the reason that Russell Wilson edges Lamar out just a little bit is because Lamar Jackson is not going to be able to get the ball. Uh, he's going to miss some throws. You're going to miss less throws with Russell than you're going to miss with Lamar, right? But he still has that great throw power. Now, the number two quarterback in Madden 21, and this is, this is going to be controversial. Number two, number two quarterback in Madden 21, and this is based on how I want to play, which is I want to sit in the pocket and I want to make a read. But the number two quarterback in Madden 21 is going to be Patrick Mahomes. And the reason that I'm saying Patrick Mahomes comes in at number two, you go through and you look at everything. He's got 80 plus speed, 87 acceleration. So he's got some mobility to be able to get out of the pocket. If you actually go through your superstar abilities, what you're going to see here is if you go into he's got – Let's go through all of the abilities that he's going to have. He's got dashing dead eye, so perfect accuracy on all throws outside of the pocket. He has escape artist, so he's going to be able to get out of the pocket just a little bit faster than most. He has, um, if you check here, he has no look dead eye. What I like about this is he's going to be able to throw the ball across his body with perfect accuracy. Perfect accuracy. That's another great ability that he has. But that's pretty much it. Now, when you dive into the ratings, if you just were to look at ratings alone, you would say that I'm crazy for making this decision. He's got 97 throw power, which I think is the most in the game. He's got the bazooka ability, which is going to literally allow him to throw the ball even farther, even farther when he gets that ability. So he can make every single throw in the game, every single throw in the game, right? Um, he also has pretty much really solid accuracy. You see here, 
He's got 97 accuracy, 95 middle, 93 deep, 96 play action, 97 throw on the run. I mean, the ratings are saying Patrick Mahomes, 99 overall, he's the best quarterback in the game. Here's why I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say in this top five video that Aaron Rodgers will actually be the best quarterback in Madden 21. Now, Patrick Mahomes does come with having the Chiefs wide receivers, so you have that advantage. He does come with having a pretty decent defense, so you have that advantage. So the Chiefs might be the best overall team for Madden 21, but Aaron Rodgers, if you're just looking at quarterback, if you're just looking at your top five quarterbacks, I'm going to say Aaron Rodgers is going to be better. Here's why. He hits the thresholds for short accuracy and deep accuracy and play action and throw on the run. He's over 90 in all of those statistics. He's got 88 middle accuracy, but most people don't actually ever throw the ball in the middle of the field. They're either throwing short or they're throwing deep, at least for me. The other thing is he's got a little bit of mobility. He doesn't have like Patrick Mahomes, a skate artist level mobility, but he's got 77 speed, 82 acceleration. That's going to get a little, you know, that's going to get him mobile. Enough mobility that if they aren't having a spy on the field, you're going to be able to take advantage of him. But when you come into this page right here on the gun, on the, uh, on the actual breakdowns, and we talk about mechanics, Aaron Rodgers has the fastest throwing animation in the game. At least going into Madden 21, he will have the fastest throwing animation. He also has Gunslinger. Passers with this ability have faster passing animations, and the ball goes faster. The ball is going to get to your wide receiver at a faster rate. The reason that this is so significant is if the defense is coming in on you and they're about to sack you, with that Gunslinger ability, you're going to be able to get the ball out. A you're just going to have a little bit more time to get it off, and seconds really make a difference in Madden. He's got this roaming dead eye, which means allows him to get out of the pocket, and once he sets his feet, He's able to have perfect throwing outside of the pocket. You see Rodgers has that as well. The other thing that Aaron Rodgers has that I really, really value from an abilities perspective, if you come up here, you're going to see that he has the dashing dead eye ability. Only two players have it, Mahomes and Rodgers. So you roll out of the pocket with Rodgers, you're going to be able to deliver the ball on the run. Um, as a Cowboys fan, I'm reminded of the throw to Jared Cook that, that uh, beat the Cowboys in the playoffs that year. Aaron Rodgers is going to be able to make throws like that consistently. Consistently going to be able to make throws like that. He's not going to have escape artists. But, but, I don't think you're going to need escape artists like you needed it in Madden 20. Okay? I think it's going to be a little bit different of a meta. You're going to see pocket passers be a little bit more effective. The other thing that he has, though, and this is what makes all of the difference in the world. This X-Factor ability here, Gambler, as you see here, the best quarterbacks learn to take risks. When they enter the zone, they can't be intercepted by AI defenders. They have increased throwing speeds. Aaron Rodgers has that ability there. And then the only other thing that I wanted to highlight about him is I just think, I just think from a perspective of simply throwing throwing routes he has this ability right here this is the x factor this is what makes aaron Rodgers better than every quarterback in madden 21 pass lead elite he's the only quarterback in regs that has this ability passers with this ability have increased throw power on bullet precision passes meaning he is going to be able to put the ball in different spots than patrick mahomes would no other quarterback can do that with a little bit of mobility that he has. He still hits all the thresholds. And with him, with him having that gunslinger ability, he is going to be able to put the ball in the most unique positions on the field. And so I'm just telling you right now, I'm excited to use Aaron Rodgers in Madden 21. And the reason is because with him having all of those abilities wrapped into it, the ratings don't necessarily tell you the whole story because you would think Mahomes would be the best. And I think Mahomes is still going to be a top, top level quarterback. But I'm saying if you're just going off quarterbacks, I think Aaron Rodgers will be the best quarterback for a passing-based offense in Madden 21. 
I want to thank you guys for watching this video. There's a couple of other videos that are coming up right now that you can check out. But last but not least, I wanted to remind all of you, if you're looking to take your game to the next level in Madden 21, what I want to encourage you to do is join my channel's Discord. It's the best way to stay up to date with all of my tips, my strategies, uh, my free scheme breakdowns that I do every single night. And we will see you over on the Discord. And again, we're just a reminder, I go live every single night at 1030 Eastern. You can find the links for all of my streams in the description. And you can also uh, find that as well over the Discord. Again, that Discord is kind of the hub for everything that we do at our channel. And so if you want to join the channel and you want to get better for Madden 21, I want to encourage you to join the Discord. We'll see you guys later.